Shack. I had a caller, and congratulations to Ted Arabian, all the way out in California. You won the coffee for Dunkin' Donuts, the uh, gift certificate. So congratulations, Ted. Thank you for listening, and thank you for calling in. And not only did he call in when, but he called in with a purpose as well. He had a random story to share with myself and now the Seacoast. So this is a pretty funny one. I love it. I love it. He told me he knows how much I love the police. I had two stories about me and the police, and um, so he has one. All right, he just told me this, so let me get this straight. He said that it was around 1982. He was about 15, 16 years old, and he stole his mother's car to go to a party with some friends. It was an outdoor party, you know. They were just kids will be kids, boys will be boys. They did, you know, God only knows what. (laughs) Whatever substances they may have found themselves in. And on their way home, he said his friend felt really sick. And so he decided to pull the car over, and uh, Ted got out, and all of a sudden, a policeman showed up and pulled up and asked for his license. And of course, he didn't have one. He didn't have a license. And so he told the cop, uh, you know, um, yeah, uh, my mom was driving, and my mom went down the road to get cigarettes. Which he said to me, why in the world would my mother park about a quarter of a mile away, out of the blue, in the middle of nowhere, just to walk down the road to get cigarettes? So, but that's the only thing he could come up with. But he wasn't in the driver's seat, so the policeman couldn't kind of, you know, nail him on the fact that he was driving, because he didn't really know who was driving. And then he said, while they were talking to the cop, that his friend opened up the car door, rolled out and um, vomited <laughs> on the policeman's shoes. Kelly. And this, is un- this is unbelievable. You cannot make this stuff up. I know, I know. And so I guess, uh, <laughs> I I guess he asked for his name. He gave his name, which happened to be his father's name. Maybe the, the cop ran his name, and um, he was all in the clear. So he said, you know, get out of here, kids. So they left the car there. There was nothing else they could do. They, they couldn't drive it away, so they went home, left the car there, and then waited to see when the police would go away. Went back and re-stole his mother's car to bring it home, and they raced home. Uh, and I guess, you know, nobody knew. No, now everyone knows. Nobody now everyone knows. <laughs> that's, that's a great story, Ted. Thank you for sharing that. You're welcome. That's awesome. It reminds me of like Super Troopers or something that would happen. The, the shoe part, the vomiting on the shoes. Oh. Unbelievable. So I quickly threw this this last song block to leave you folks on oh. this wonderful Wednesday night. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I'm going to leave you with Cool and the Gang Celebration because your night certainly started out that way. Then I'm going to go into Manic Monday, which just kind of, you know, some crazy stuff went down. And I'm going to end with Don't Stand So Close to Me by the Police because I'm pretty sure your friend thought, you know what? Don't you stand so close to me. I'm going to throw up on the shoes. So thank you so much, folks. Have a great one. I will see you next Wednesday. That's right. Bye. 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 Station, WXBJLB. Good job. Thanks, Erica. I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> thank you. And I got a thank you for the gift certificates. I'm so excited. Bye. Woohoo. All right.